Hey, my name is Arman. I'm like Pluto, and this is a behind the scenes of my typical day. This is, uh, this is Cosmo. Cosmo Arab Shaki. He's, uh, he's four months old, and he's dope. He's super, he's really freaking hyper all the time. Right, Cosmo? Go for it. Yeah, it would. Oh, oh. So this is the studio. This is where I do most of my things. This is the studio slash bedroom. This is my vocal booth. Um, it's like it creeps people out when they get in my room. Sometimes they're like, "What? What is that?" Because when you like look at it closed, you're like, "This is like some S and M chamber," but it's it's not. It's a vocal booth. This was my first guitar ever. This is a Schecter. I think it was like 200 bucks. Cosmo, stop humping the cameraman. <laughs> Cosmo, stop! Um, this acoustic guitar has... Really, it's damaged. Um, this is actually my first acoustic, and I got it for $250 when I sold my World of Warcraft account. And then with my graduation money, when I was 18, I bought this shit by an Intellicaster Deluxe. Simple. I'm trying. Not, I'm trying not to. I'm trying. I used to add a shit ton of layers, and now I'm just trying to keep it very, like a few elements, and just make those elements stand out. You know. I have no idea what this is, but I make like if you look at this UP seven thirteen, boom. That means that's the seven hundred and thirteenth beat that I've started. So I just just start these, and I will make the beat. Very quickly, and I'll go in the booth, and I'll just sing for like an hour. And if nothing pops out, I'm like, fuck it. Uh -huh. If it's not move easy to, to write, move on. Yeah, that's my opinion. But if you write it, and you have like, you know, you have to rewrite a pre-chorus, and it gets hard. That's okay for me. Okay. That's like an obstacle that you usually come across. But songwriting should be easy. Mm -hmm. It should be like, psh, yeah, you should be like fucking boom, and you have like fucking verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus two, yeah. and then boom, all that shit. You know? Chet Faker, great in the rock scene. Chet Faker's dope. Chet Faker, um, you have you heard Chet of Faker's it? Australian, right? Uh, yeah, he's an Australian guy. <laughs> <laughs> have you, there's only one song by this group I like, but they had a, have an interesting sound that kind of mixes some EDM elements with rock, which is, have you heard of Louis Del Mar? No. They're from like Brooklyn. And they have this song called Loudy. <gasps> and it's like this really cool, like, <gasps> the way they sample their acoustic guitar into this little track is just very, it's pretty raw, man. It's a really exciting song. Right now we're headed to uh, our house uh, to work on Blind to actually finish it. And yeah, traffic is absolutely horrendous in Los Angeles. Holy shit, what is happening here? 77, which was obviously a great year. <laughs> it's good, huh? Oh, did you restring it? No, it's new strings. They, he had everything. He right. had new strings and everything? Wow. I think it's the whoosh. <laughs> I think it's the my gut is telling me the bridge doesn't need as much as we have in there because the vocal is so big. I feel like the, the song, we kept it pretty simple, which I like. I feel like it needs more. I, I want the vocals to have more breathing room. That's what my gut's telling me. I think it's just like... But the problem is we cannot hear. Here's without it. Just the worst of it. You have crashes. Do you still have, do you have other crashes on it? Or just the No, bush? that's it. So you're not hungry for that. It all comes down to food. It all comes down to food, man. <laughs> you really not hungry? The Great Greek? Ribs? McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uber Eats? <laughs>